Jocelyn Benson is with us again, Secretary of State candidate. Nice to talk to you. Good morning. How happy were you to get that uh, endorsement from the Grand Rapids Press? <laughs> well, you know, I had a, a really great meeting with them, and all of my positions on the organ donor registry and everything else are ones that they agree with. So I was very honored uh, that they endorsed me yesterday. Uh, I'll just read a bit of it here. It says, consequential questions are going to be raised in the next few years about elections and campaign finances. We believe Jocelyn Benson's training and expertise make her best equipped to aggressively tackle those issues. Yeah, I I, uh, really appreciate their recognition of that because it's true. The next Secretary of State is going to have to develop the next set of campaign finance regulations and laws for a generation, uh, given uh, the, the, the legal developments recently in the Supreme Court of the United States. So my background as an attorney who practices and uh, as a policy advocate who works on this area of the law makes me uniquely positioned to be able to develop and enforce these regulations to keep money from corrupting our political process. How are you going to spend the next eight days? We've got eight days to go. I mean, it, it looked <laughs> like the you were close, closing the gap in the polls for whatever that's worth, but it's a little bit unpredictable. But how will you spend the next eight days? I'm talking to every single voter I can in the yeah. next eight days. Today I'm going to Flint, uh, and I'm going to be meeting with voters at uh, Tom Z's Coney Island at 11 and then <laughs> uh, some other events. And, and every day this week I'll be in a different part of the state up until um, the, the polls close on November 2nd. And I'm looking forward to getting out there because i found consistently voters want someone who's going to stand up and fight for them and who knows how to do the job of the Secretary of State and who's not going to play politics with that office. Uh, and that's who I am, and, and that's very different from my opponent, uh, who spent two decades playing politics and working for partisan interests. So. I'm uh, looking forward to getting in there. I'm looking forward to earning the voters' trust and support. Uh, and I hope that together we can do some great things for the state. In terms of voting, and you, you would, uh, you're would, you an advocate of no absentee voting. That's kind of long overdue, isn't it? Well, you know, 30 other states have figured out how to implement early voting or no reason absentee voting. And it's time that we do that here in Michigan. My opponent's against that, uh, and it's a, it's a stark difference between my opponent and I. I believe that it's time to modernize our system of elections, and she's fine with the status quo. I'm not. I think we need to change things in Michigan. And so for me, I'm going to uh, commit to trying to develop and implement early voting because citizens should be able to vote on a Saturday, Sunday, or Monday before an election, in person, seeing their ballot go through the machine, without having to tell the government why they're voting early. And right now, we, we only have an absentee ballot process that requires you to explain your reason, and it can only be one of six reasons that allow you to vote absentee. And, and you know, that's just antiquated. We need to modernize our system so that every voter who wants to vote before election day absentee or early can do so. Well, it's what everybody's talking about now with eight days before the election. Some people have their absentee ballots. They're sitting down, taking their time, having a good look at it. Jocelyn Benson says you ought to be able to do that whenever you want. She is the Secretary of State candidate. Got the endorsement from the Grand Rapids Press. We'll talk again before the election. Congratulations and stay tuned.